class. Welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be doing our second lesson about areas of regular polygons, but this time we're going to be applying trigonometry to finding the areas of the regular polygons. So just kind of a heads up, this lesson might be a little tough if you haven't seen my other previous lessons uh, explaining how trigonometry sine cosine tangent works and how to find a basic uh, area of a regular polygon. So you can go back and look for those videos if you need to. All right, so let's start with a review example here. We have a regular polygon. We can take our regular polygon and split it into triangles like this from the center out to each vertex. And then we can find the area of one of those triangles and then just multiply it by the number of triangles. Uh, we had our formula in our last one. It ends up being one half times the perimeter of the regular polygon times the apothem of the regular polygon. And that little a, the apothem, stands for the length from the center uh, per perpendicular to the side length of our polygon. So 15.5 would be our apothem. So if we use our formula, the perimeter of our shape is going to be the side length times the number of sides. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sides. All right, times the height of each triangle or the apothem, which is 15.5. And we multiply those all together and we get 930. And then we always put our units centimeters squared for area. So that's a really quick little example review on uh, how to find the area of a regular polygon if they give us the side length and the apothem. So now let's look at another example. We're going to find the area of a regular pentagon with four inch side lengths. And there's a hint, first draw a picture, always draw a picture. It's always helpful to draw a picture. So try to make a regular pentagon. That's about as good as mine is going to get. All right, we have our center of our polygon. We know that our side lengths are four inches and that's it. That's all the information we're given. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create our triangles and we're going to find the central angle. So that's going to be these angles right in there. And the way we do that is we take 360 and we divide by the number of sides or the number of triangles inside. So here I'm going to divide 360 by 5, and I get 40, oops, let's see, 360, so 72, referencing my notes there. All right, so that's going to be 72 degrees. Now, if I want to find the area of this, I need to take each one of these triangles and split it in half so I can find the height of the triangle. I know the base length is 4, but I need to find the height. Now, if I split that in half, that angle that we just found, 72 degrees, gets split in half as well. So now I'm going to draw this right triangle a little bigger so I can work with it. This is going to be 2 because it's half of the entire side length. And then that angle, 72 degrees, when it gets split in half, is going to become 36 degrees. And I need to find my apothem or the height of my triangle. So now, uh, in our last lesson, when we did this, we ended up with a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90 triangle. But this, we have to use trigonometry for, so sine, cosine, or tangent. So again, go back to that other video and review how to do this. When we have this set up, we take, and this is going to be my opposite side from my angle. This is my adjacent side from my angle. I'm not using my hypotenuse, which means I want to use the tangent to solve here. So I'm going to set up my tangent of 36 degrees equals opposite, which is 2, over adjacent, which is a, and then I want to solve for a. So I can put it over 1, cross, multiply, and divide. I end up with a equals 2 divided by the tangent of 36 degrees. Now make sure your, your calculator is in degree mode. We plug that in and we end up with A, our apothem is approximately 2.7528. All right, so now I have my apothem, I have my side length, I can find my area. One half times the side length times the number of sides, so that's gonna give me my perimeter all the way around 
times the apothem, 2.7528. I use four decimals just so I don't end up with a rounding error. Four decimals is usually a pretty safe number. All right, and then it doesn't tell me how much they want me to round, so I'm just going to do at least a few decimals there, and we should get 27.528. Yep, that works. All right, and then inches squared for our area units. All right, so it was a little bit of a tougher example, bringing in our trigonometry to solve for the area there. Okay, let's look at our last example. A table has a shape of a regular octagon, so our sides, we have eight sides, with a radius of 9.5. So again, reviewing those terms, knowing what radius means. The radius is from the center to one of the vertices. So this is 9.5. So in this problem, we're not given the side length or the apothem. We have to find both of them to find the area. All right, so let's start by finding our angle. So same first step as it was in the last problem. 360 divided by 8, the number of sides, gives me 45 degrees. Then I'm going to need to split that angle in half to talk about my right triangle. So if I split 45 in half, I end up with 22.5 degrees in that angle. I know that my hypotenuse here is 9.5. I need to find my apothem. I'm gonna name this part x. My side length is going to be 2x, so I'm gonna have to double that in a little bit. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to find one at a time using our trig. So let me pull it back down here. All right, so we have, oops, we have, let's use, let's find uh, x first. Why not? So we're going to use this sign, sine of 22.5 equals x over 9.5. So x is going to be 9.5 times the sine of 22.5. Again, if you're a little confused right now, you can always go back and review my lesson on trigonometry. All right, and then 9.5 times the sine of 22.5 is going to give me 3.6355 for x. Now that means the length of my side, my s, is going to be twice that, so we'll want to double it, and we get 7.271. So, so far I have my side length, now let's find the apothem. So coming back to the 22.5 degrees and using the 9.5 again, we don't really want to use x because we had to round. So using the 9.5, I'm going to use cosine. So we do cosine of 22.5 equals adjacent, which is my apothem over hypotenuse, 9.5. We multiply and we have apothem equals 9.5 times the cosine of 22.5, which is going to be approximately 8.7769. All right, so now we've used our trig, two sets of it, to find our side length in our apothem. Now we apply our formula, which is one half the perimeter times the apothem. Now remember, this is our magic area formula here. All right, so that's going to be one half. Perimeter is my side length, which is 7.271 times the number of sides. This was an octagon, so that's going to be eight. And then times the apothem, which was 8.7769. Because we rounded so many times for our side length, and our apothem, we might end up with a little rounding error, which is why I try to play it safe. Use a lot of decimals when you round. All right, and then we multiply all those things together, and we get 255.267, and then it tells us they want the area to the nearest square inch, so they want us to round to 255 inches squared. All right, that was a big problem. So that wraps up our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.